Hey there guys, it's Lee here for iMindBlocks. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you something cool. Um, I've actually pre-tested it this time to make sure it definitely does work uh, exactly how it should do, and um, I can report some positives. So, uh, a day or two ago, I uploaded a video about a Claymore's Dual Ethereum Decreed and Cycoin Miner, um, and it was a new update, it was version six, and the main feature was that it supported not only AMD cards, but also Nvidia cards. So that was a really cool uh, feature. However, it was slightly disappointing when I tested it uh, with Windows 10, there's a problem that um, is yet to be fully resolved where there is a driver problem. So if you've got an Nvidia card and you're using Windows 10, there's this problem with the drivers going backwards and forwards. If you wanna get the best performance uh, Ethereum mining, you have to use an older set of drivers, uh, the 34788 drivers. And in this particular instance, the Claymore miner actually wanted to use uh, newer drivers. So there was a problem with the, the revision of which CUDA version um, you was going to be using. Um, but literally in the last sort of day, someone actually updated me on uh, YouTube, actually. Someone left a comment in the YouTube comments. It was actually, um, uh, you can't escape 1992. Um, he basically let me know that there's a, a new version. Uh, the, this person had also actually tested it on their own rig. Uh, you can't escape 1992 has got a rig with uh, 3290s and also two 970s. So he's got an actual mixed rig there. He's got AMD and Nvidia cards and he said it was working good. So I thought I'd go and uh, I'll take another look at it and um, yeah, get up and running. So what I'm gonna do is jump over to this screen uh, now and uh, I'll just sort of take you through the actual process of getting set up with this clay module uh, miner. Um, and the process will be very much the same if you're using uh, either AMD, um, but also like I said, the big update is really that it supports um, Nvidia cards. So we're on the actual Bitcoin talk thread. Uh, you just click on the actual download link uh, that just takes you to like a Google Drive and then if you go all the way down to the bottom it's the very uh, last one on there so version 6.1 click on that then right click and then go to download um, I've already actually done that so we can skip that particular step then what you want to do is go to your downloads folder wherever that may be or desktop wherever you decided to actually save this file um, so I've already done that and then we've got hang on a sec the view's gone a little bit funny here um, so we've got the two uh, miners, so you've actually got the one from the other day which is version 6 and now we've got the new one which is 6.1 so you right click and you extract that and then you get something that looks like this inside so I've actually done a quick test run with just Ethereum only and um, it worked um, but uh, you need to use the uh, Claymore to your miner depending on which version of uh, graphics card you got. So I've got a, a 970, so that's gonna use a CUDA version 6.5. Uh, if you've got a newer graphics card, so really the 1070s and 1080s, um, they're gonna be using like a later CUDA version. So I think also possibly the 980 uh, supports it as well, but I'm not 100% sure. But basically, if you actually go in uh, to claim more dual miner, and if you just click start and see what happens, if it doesn't actually run on your NVIDIA device, what you might need to do is if you go into this CUDA 6.5 folder and there's a couple of files in there there'll actually only be two files in there in your case so just uh, go select those copy them and you just want to paste them into the main uh, folder uh, yet yeah, you replace the existing files that are in there and then what it does is it sets that miner up to use a CUDA 6.5 version which is the one that I need to use so then we're basically ready to actually start mining. So I've got my Ethereum uh, batch file, config file, already sort of set up. So I've got um, the call to the miner, the pool that I'm using, my address and a nickname. Um, so I'll just show you that working now. So you've got some information there, detected the uh, graphics card, it's a GTX 970. Obviously I've said that in previous uh, videos. It's uh, connected to the pool. Um, downloaded the DAG file, or actually it just, it just works with the DAG file now. Um, and then yeah, we are off and mining. So we're actually at 17.8 mega hashes. Um, so that is the initial test. Um, I did only test it for literally 
20 seconds just to make sure very briefly that it worked. Um, I've not tested the Creed or Sire, so I'll test those um, in just a minute and um, we'll see what results we get with those. Um, so it looks to be working good. So the real benefit is that we're going to be using this to dual mine, coin so we can mine Ethereum and also decrete at the same time or we can mine Ethereum and Sirecoin. So that's uh, the benefit of it. It is a little bit slower than the Genoil miner that I've been using. I normally get um, just over 18 mega hashes with that so it is a little bit slower um, but I think that will be offset by the uh, dual mining feature. So that's Ethereum on its own. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just try it with um, Decreed. We'll see how that performs. Um, I'm just going to leave all the details the same as there was. Um, they kind of got the wrong nicknames and worker details, but really just for testing, I can show you guys it running. So this time we're going to go with uh, Ethereum and Decreed, and hopefully it all works um, as it did before. Should work fine. Uh, like I say, I only actually tested uh, just the Ethereum miner. Um, and that's fine. In. So it's making some progress and let's just see what the actual hash rate is, how it compares to before. Just going to get a quick drink here, hope you don't mind. Just getting a little bit dry. It's not often I talk this much unless I'm actually doing videos. Um, so that is uh, going. See if we can wait for it to refresh just once or twice more. Okay, so that looks about as good as it's going to get. So it's mining at 12.5 mega hash Ethereum and 125 mega hash for Decreed. So it's not really uh, super fast. Um, I wonder if I change the intensity. Um, default intensity is 30. Um, on my some of my other rigs, I've uh, set the intensity to 20. Um, that kind of gives me pretty good performance in terms of like my main focus, which is Ethereum. And then also mines kind of a little bit of Decreed or Cyclone on the side. But that should sort of um, hopefully skew the results a bit more towards the uh, the Ethereum side of things. So just wait a moment for this to uh, refresh. Okay, so we can see it's picked up a little bit. Um, Ethereum is now 13.9, and the creed is reduced, which is expected, um, to 90, uh, sorry, 92.8. Uh, I'll just let it refresh one more time, just so we can get a little bit more of a average kind of basis. Um, and again, 13.9 and 92 decreed. So on the NVIDIA cards, you don't seem to get quite as good uh, a performance as you do when you're dual mining with the AMD cards. Um, there's quite a performance kind of knockoff um, on this Ethereum here uh, with Lost. Um, what was it? It was 17 before. So there's quite a big uh, reduction in the Ethereum performance, whereas on the AMD cards, you only really lose, you know, maybe at like one mega hash and kind of get all that extra for free. Uh, what I will do is just actually while I'm here, um, actually no I won't, <laughs> I thought I had the watt meter plugged in but um, I don't actually have that so I couldn't really comment on the power use at this time, I might do an update video um, and just confirm that extra because that's always worth knowing. Okay so that's uh, Ethereum and Decree, let's try Ethereum and Cyclone, um, I expect it will probably be very similar uh, results. So it's actually connected to all those pools and everything uh, really quite quickly. Uh, just wait for it to update and then we can get some hash rates. Okay, so that kind of looks like our base sort of level. So Ethereum is uh, 11.7 and Cycoint is 117. I'll just reduce the intensity down again now to 20. 
and I will see how that performs. Okay, so it's very similar to um, Decreed. So we've got 13.6 um, mega hash on Ethereum and 91 on Cycoin. So yeah, the performance is, it's okay, but it's certainly not um, mind blowing. I can't say I'm super impressed with it. Overall, it's a, a little bit underwhelming, really. I mean, it mines Ethereum quite well on its own, so that might be actually due to the uh, version of CUDA that we're using. So we're kind of um, stuck to. It. I don't actually know whether this card supports uh, 7.5, uh, the CUDA version, or whether you can only use that uh, combined with this card, the updated drivers, and end it Windows 7. Then I don't know if you can then use. Um, the later CUDA version, that's something I sort of um, have to look into. Um, but with this, it's kind of, the performance is, is there. It really depends on, you know, what graphics card you've got and what drivers that you're using. But I think for me, it's not really gonna provide the benefits of the actual performance that I kind of expected. Um, like I say, you might get better performance um, if you're using Windows 7, the updated drivers, and then that might allow you to access the, uh, the revised version of the CUDA 7.5 not 100% on that, but that might be uh, um, something that you can make good use of. Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. Obviously, just another one that I wanted to share with you, share with my results, what I'm getting, and the tools and stuff that I'm using um, you know, to mine a whole bunch of coins. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching, and uh, you know, be sure to check out my other videos. If you liked it, liked it comment and subscribe i am you know always reading the comments and um, i do get back to you guys pretty often so yeah till next video guys take care bye bye